Hi John, great to see you tonight. Uh, just some really good work in tonight's session uh, for your first lesson. Still a few things to work on, but I just want to go over these points, um, some, some of the things that we discussed during tonight's lesson, just for you to, uh, as a little reminder for you when you're practicing this week. Uh, one of the first things we looked at was the, uh, the way they hold the golf club. Uh, so looking at your grip. Now ideally the right hand's not too bad, but your left hand there, when you look down, you, could, you couldn't see any knuckles whatsoever. Um, so we got you to turn your left hand round to the right a little bit so it's more on top of the shaft. And when you look down, you can clearly see those two knuckles or the first two knuckles on that left hand. That's going to do. It's just going to help uh, the closing or the, the squaring up of your club face during the impact area. So you're having to work your forearms less during the golf swing so your club face would square up to the target a lot more naturally and a lot more consistently. Um, so just moving that left hand round to the right and just over the top or just putting it on top of the shaft a little bit more rather than as it is there just slightly underneath will allow that rotation to happen. Um, the other area that we had a quick look at uh, was your posture position uh, and your alignment. Now, if we look at this position here on the right-hand side, uh, I'll just pop a little line up there just to show you which target we were aiming at. So we were aiming at the 100 marker. I'll just put a little flag up there. Um, and again, just to highlight the direction which you were aiming your body in. Okay, so you can see there that everything in the body alignment is um, pretty parallel, so your shoulders are pretty parallel to your feet, but um, you was aiming quite a long way to the right hand side uh, of your target. So if you were to make a good swing, uh, the majority of the shots that you would hit would go uh, out to the right hand side and stay to the right. Now we did sort of mention that um, you now because of that position you would have to manipulate a swing to try and get your ball to go back towards that target somewhat. So as we just uh, discussed, um, that you're during that golf swing, coming up to the top of your golf swing there, you've now got a big movement taking the club outside that golf ball there. Ideally, in that position, the golf club should be a little bit more behind you there, so it's going to come from the inside. So because of the way you're aligning your body up, you were having to manufacture a golf swing to try somehow to get that ball to come back towards your target. So you were making the, the club come back from outside the line. You can see there the club's outside the, your hand, outside the golf ball working quite quickly to the left hand side. So that's the manipulation you had during the golf swing to bring that ball somewhere back towards your target. So we got you in a position where you were lining your body up uh, a little bit left of the target rather than aiming to the right. So then when you could swing the club, if the club was coming back from a better direction slightly from the inside of the shot, with the extra rotation with forearms, the shots would fly a lot straighter, more consistently towards your target, rather than you having to manufacture a swing to get that ball down your target line. So now from that position you would be rewarded from your good swings and punished for your bad swings and not the other way around. Uh, what we did find is that you were still swinging the club slightly from the outside with better rotation, the ball was now starting to go left of your target um, and not straight towards it or certainly not to the right of your target like it was doing previous. Uh, so a little bit of work is needed just trying to get the club coming back from the inside but again we're going to discuss that in more detail on your next lesson. Uh, the other area that we discussed was uh, your posture position. So if I take that swing back to uh, the beginning, you can see there, looking at your spine angle and looking at your back there, you've got a little bit of an arch there in that back, so it's not um, on a straight um, angle. And there you're looking like you're bending over a little bit too much and you're in an out of crouched position. Um, also, in this correct position there, you've got a little bit of a bend there on the left hand side. You've got a bend in your right arm and your left arm's bent. So what we did, we went through a quick drill to try and get you into a good posture position uh, where your left arm and your right arm 
um, a little bit straighter so they work down into more of a triangle type shape, um, allowing you to stay a little bit taller and have more room there to swim that golf club. Because you crouched over a little bit too much, um, just put a circle around your head there just to highlight what you do during that golf swing so you can see now how much you actually lift up and stand taller out of that circle you making the swing. So that's the compensation for you being too close. So you're now uh, making the golf swing and then moving out of that circle. But again, once you come back down to hit the golf ball, your head doesn't return into the circle because if you did, you didn't have the room there to swing that golf club and get it through um, the hitting area correctly uh, without making contact with the ground or taking a big chunk of turf with you. Um, so we got you to stand a little bit taller with the posture drill, stand a little bit taller um, to keep maintain that room so that you and your golf swing, you're not having to lift yourself up um, and make any compensations for your posture position um, so you'll be able to make a, a much more consistent golf swing. Um, so you keep working on those areas for so making sure your left hand's a little bit stronger or a bit more around to the right so you can clearly see those two knuckles. Again, with your alignment, just make sure that your body is aiming a little bit left of your target and not to the right. Um, and also, keep going through that posture drill, making sure that you're not crouching over too much. Um, and uh, again, just as you're making a, a general swing for it, is to try and get that club coming back a little bit from the inside and not working its way across from out to in, uh, across that golf ball, as I mentioned, that creates the phase spin that you've been experiencing previously. Um, so, good luck with it all. Uh, keep practicing. If you've got any problems, just give me a call. But I look forward to seeing you again next week.